Before the video starts, I wanted to tell you guys that my next video is going to be me talking about your guys' Undertale OCs. That's right, you guys can send me any original character from the Undertale universe you have. It doesn't have to be a Sansa you either. I really don't want to be known as the guy who just makes Sansa you videos. Anyways, I'll be putting my email on screen now, and if I get a lot of submissions, I'll limit it to one OC per person, and who knows, maybe a series could spark from it. Anyways, like I said, email me your OCs and I'd love to cover them. You finished? Alright, let's get back to the video. So I made a fun little Undertale video a few months ago talking about what you could do to stop a human's genocide run, and it got a few views, not that many. Anyways, I saw how well the video did and all the interesting comments you all left, and decided why not make a follow-up video. This time, however, you'd be trying to prevent a pacifist run instead of a genocide one, because, uh, I don't know. I guess you just really hate humanity or something. Maybe you actually like it down here and don't want everyone to go back to the surface, and if the human completes a pacifist run, everybody would get to leave. Or maybe you're afraid the human's gonna steal all your friends. Whatever your reason is, the point is you can't let this human spare everybody, and it's up to you to stop them from making friends with the entire underground population. Now, for this scenario, you can pick any generic monster. Before we start, we need to set some rules for this little challenge. For one, you have all your knowledge of Undertale's universe when you get transported into the game. Also, a pacifist run according to the Undertale wiki is one where every major character is befriended, the true lab is explored, and the human doesn't kill anybody. Now you could argue that a run where nobody dies is a pacifist run because you are a pacifist, but the wiki defines that ending as a neutral run. A run where although nobody dies, nobody gets befriended. The pacifist run detailed above is the one we're going to be trying to stop. Alright, without further ado, let's see if we can stop this human from making any friends. A very simple thing you could do is just confront the human when they enter the underground. And what do you do when you encounter said human? Well, demand that they kill you, of course. Yes, maybe the solution to the whole what-if scenario is to force the human to slay you. And if they don't, you'll both have to stand in the same spot for eternity. This could work, if not for the fact that the human has a very powerful ability to simply run away. Due to you not being an important character, the human doesn't really need to become your friend in order to complete the pacifist route. Meaning all you can really do is act as a hindrance to them. If they run away, you could just constantly chase them and hopefully annoy them into killing you, but there are some pretty resilient and, well, determined Undertale players out there. They could probably handle some basic monster chasing them forever. And because the human always gets the first turn, that means you could potentially never get an attack in before they run away. Now, although the image of a monster chasing the human across the underground demanding they kill them is a pretty ridiculous picture, it's quite clear we're gonna have to think of something else. Now, it's very clear that trying to directly confront the human, as always, is a bad decision. So how about instead of directly trying to stop the human's run, what if you manipulate it so they're forced to take a different route? Let me explain. During Sans's judgment of you, he says that XP stands for execution points, explaining how every time you kill a monster, you gain XP, increasing your love, or level of violence. Sans states, and I quote, The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. Now, there's no way the human will ever gain XP since they're trying to spare everyone, meaning their love will never increase, right? Well, what if you make them think their love increased? What if XP and love can also be gained through psychologically believing you killed someone? If the human is in an encounter with a monster and their actions somehow lead to a mysterious boulder crushing the monster they're facing, and you were there to blame them for that monster's death, do you think that their level of violence would increase from believing that the death was their fault? Who knows? Is gaslighting a child into thinking they're a murderer too dark for this silly hypothetical scenario? Oh yeah, most definitely. Honestly though, this method would never work since the human has that nifty little trick of resetting time and undoing actions, so in the end, tactics like these would never work. Alright, so it's clear that trying to get in the human's way personally isn't gonna help. So what if you took things in a different direction? The human needs to make friends with all the major characters before the pacifist run is completed, so what if we decided to remove some of them? There can't be a pacifist run if the human can't make any friends. 
Sounds like a plan, right? Well, there are some flaws to this. In order to complete a pacifist run, the human needs to befriend Papyrus, Undyne, and Alphys. Three characters who are incredibly tough in their own right. Killing any of them, even Alphys, would be an incredibly difficult task. Papyrus is an incredibly tough fighter, and even though he won't kill you, he'd certainly knock you around easily. Undyne is an obvious nope, since she'd easily obliterate you, and although Alphys is physically pretty weak, her technology is no joke, and she probably has a few death rays and lasers just lying around. And with no ability to come back, you can't memorize their attacks, meaning you'd surely get beaten. You could try and pull a Flowey and just kill Asgore when he's caught off guard and then steal the human souls, and this could work but I'm not sure how you would get to them. Flowey could get to them due to his stealth and the ability to burrow, but I'm not sure how a generic monster like you can have the stealth Flowey does. Anyways, it's clear there needs to be another plan, and I got just the one. If you can't go after strong monsters and a pacifist run, then you can certainly go after weaker ones. You might be asking, what would going after and killing weaker monsters accomplish? They don't need to be befriended, and it's you who kills them, not the human. Well, dear viewer, all you need to do is kill a monster and then blame the death on the human. You could take a nice old fragged out on a walk, drop a giant rock on him, and then hold his dust in your hands and start screaming. When you attract a crowd, put on a good show and some tears and tell everyone that the human killed them. Now, although it's incredibly untrue, none of the monsters know that. You could keep doing this and keep blaming the human. You can even spread news of the monsters' deaths across the underground to get Undyne and the entire royal guard to go after them. Plus, there's so many monsters that the human will never figure out who's framing them for these murders, meaning that you can do it every time they try to reset. It's absolutely foolproof. Hell, you can even use this momentum of outrage and fear towards the human to gather your monster brethren and maybe even Toriel to block off the ruins exit and keep them there forever. You can finally end this human's treacherous pacifist run, and all you had to do is lie to your entire race and put an innocent child's life on the line. So simple. Anyways, that's all we got for today's video. If you have a much easier and a lot less dark solution on how to stop a human's pacifist run, feel free to leave a comment below. Like I said at the start, shoot me an email with your OC and their backstory, powers, and more for a future video I'm working on. With all that done, I am Kustopia, and thank you all for watching.